On the 15th of September, Valve updated Steamworks SDK to version 1.52. This update is important as it allows developers to ship their native ARM64 applications to Steam. Only 11 months late Valve, but better late than never. Steamworks is the API that games use under Steam for multiplayer, achievements, leaderboards, chats, the in-game FPS counter, and so on. This is not for the Steam client, as it is still not a native Apple Silicon application. Before this update, developers could not ship their ARM64 apps to Steam. They could get around this by asking users to go into the root folder of their game and directly open their Apple Silicon app. Or a dev could provide their own external launcher that opens outside of Steam and allows you to launch a separate executable from the game's files. However, doing either of these meant that a game would lack any Steam API support. So, how the heck can devs now ship native Apple Silicon apps to Steam if it's still an Intel app? In the past, if you tried to launch a native M1 game on Steam, take Space Space Startopia as an example, Valve would try to inject an x86-64 dynamically linked library inside an ARM64 executable, which caused a crash. Now the game launches successfully, as Valve have now added i386 and x86-64 and ARM64 universal builds of two libraries. This first library is for handling encrypted binaries. It's very rarely used though. The second library is the main library, providing the x86, x64 and ARM64 versions of the Steam API. For a true integration, devs need to include this library in their Xcode project and must ship it alongside their executable. Universal apps are now supported on Steam with this update. Universal can contain three architectures in its binary. i386, which almost no modern Mac games use, x86-64, and ARM64. There are actually already a few new games that are Universal apps on Steam, but almost all of them are small indie games, and none of them are actually launching the ARM64 architecture inside their binary, as I presume they have been packaged incorrectly. Instead, the x86-64 architecture is always chosen. To play these games, you have to launch the games directly from their root folder, not via Steam, for the binary to run natively. As of the 23rd of September, I have found only three native games which are successfully launching through Steam, as they have been packaged correctly. The native build of Myst was previously only available on the App Store, as the App Store itself is a native Apple Silicon application. The native version of Myst on the App Store runs amazingly well, and it's the same story here. Many developers have already stated that they will update their games on Steam for M1 as soon as this specific feature is added. Now it's here. Kind of. Valve has made a move that goes in the right direction for Apple Silicon, but just so ever slightly. This may be a big thing in the future though, as we get ready for the next Apple Silicon chip, and as Apple slowly moves away from Intel. Since there are a number of indie games already native on the App Store, I expect many of them will cross over soon, and new ones will follow too. It's easy to create an ARM64 application from scratch, as many popular engines support M1 natively now. That being said, don't expect many existing or even upcoming AAA games on Mac to be immediately updated for M1. Updating a AAA's complicated code from x86-64 to ARM64 can be tricky, time-consuming, expensive, and often just not worth the effort for such a small gaming audience in the first place. Mac gamers are used to waiting though, but hopefully we don't have to wait as long anymore for games and updates.